Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a data driven Gantt chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. And you will also learn how we can put the conditional formatting in the Gantt chart. And these charts are data driven. You can easily change the data and automatically chart will be updated. Let me show you one example. Let's say I want to add a new task here. I can simply right click over the chart and click on edit data. And I can change the task here, the task name or the activity name, or I can add a new task. Okay. So let's add a new task as task nine. You can put the actual task name. The start date I'm putting here, let's say 10th of May. And the duration of the days I'm putting here, let's say 15 days. As I hit the enter, then you can see the task nine is here for the 15 days. You can see at the last. Okay. Similarly, here in the second chart, wherein we have used the conditional formatting, you can just right click edit data. And here you can change the status if you want or you can change the start date or the duration. So let me show you, let's say first task one is completed and the duration was 10 days. Here you can see, let's say I want to mark it as pending. As I mark it pending, you can see it has been changed to red color. If I will change the duration as 15 in place of 10, then here you can see the size is changed. Similarly, if I mark it as WIP, then it will be in yellow color or for completed, it will be in green color. All right. Now I will explain you step by step how you can create this in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's add a new slide here. Right click add new slide. And on this slide, we will add our chart. So let's delete this. You can put the title of this slide. But here I'm just showing you how you can add this chart first. So let's go to the insert and then go to the charts and just click on chart. And here we will insert the bar chart and we will take the stack bar. This one just click on OK. As you click on OK, this chart is successfully inserted and one Excel file is open. You can see here. OK, so we just need to change this excel file information with our information i'll show you i have already copied it here you can put the activity name whatever you want to put here then the start date of the activity and duration in days so you can copy this and let's go to the powerpoint and let's paste this here we don't need this series three so we can simply delete this right click delete this column so we have task name and start date and duration. Okay. So now let's close this. So this chart is available here. Let's make it slightly bigger so that it can be visible properly. Now I will remove the chart title. You can use this slide title here in place of chart title. And here you can see the order is not correct for task name. Okay, so task one is coming in the last, it should come on the first. So just double click here and then go to the format axis. And here just scroll it down and just click category in reverse order. So now here you can see it is in proper order. Okay. Now come to this chart, click on this plus button, which is for chart elements. And in the chart elements, go to the grid lines and just check the major grid lines and you can take the minors also all right now just remove this legion select the legion and delete and this blue color is for the start date just remember just delete now i'll select this blue color then i'll go to the format and here i'll take the save fill as no fill all right now we will change the axis of this chart i'll tell you how you can change it so let's go to the book one. This is the Excel file from where we have copied. The first start date is 1st April 2022. Now we will change the format as journal. So just change the format as journal. Here you can see now start date is looking 44652. 
So now go to the PowerPoint, select this axis, right click, go to the format axis. The minimum value we will put here, the minimum value as 44652 and just hit the enter. And now rest keep it as it is. So here you can see it is starting from 1st of April. All right. You can change the shape if you want. So just go to the insert shapes. And here you can take this rectangle which is rounded corners and just drag that rectangle here. Pick this yellow handle, move to the right side. You can choose the shape style from here. So let's take this one. Now you can copy this and just select this bar and paste it here. Okay, now you can delete this. And if you want to add the data level, you can add the data level also. Right click, add data levels. Now select the data level, take the white color and just click on board. Okay, that is how you can create this. Now I'll tell you how you can put the animation. So I'll show you the animation also. So here if you will see, we have this animation automatically. It is appearing the task. And when we will move to the next slide, then here you can see as I click, then it is showing the task. Okay. I'll show you how you can apply the animation. So to apply the animation, just select the chart, go to the animations. We will select any animation from here. So I have taken this animation, which is by you can check out the other ones also and go to the effect option so first let's take it from left then another one we can take it by category okay so it will come one by one here you can see all right now go to the animation pen so here we have our all the animation you can just click and you can say start after previous okay so automatically it will start after previous here you can see Okay, now I'll quickly show you how you can create this scan chart. Okay, so to create this, let me add new slide and let's delete these two. And let's do the same activity. So let's insert the stack bar chart and then we will make the changes in the Excel. So what I'm doing. I can copy this chart and let's paste this here. So we will do all the activity, whatever we have done here. We will make few changes. I'll show you those changes. So let's right click and click on edit data in Excel. So we will edit our data. Here you can see it's a table. Now I will take few other columns. We can insert those columns here and just insert column 1, column 2, column 3 and let's take red, amber and green. Then here we will take the status. So status, let's put some random status here. Let's say completed, completed, WIP work in progress and let's take here pending. All right, red will be for pending, amber will be for work in progress, green will be for completed. Okay, so I'll put the formula here if this value is equal to pending, then I will show this duration, otherwise, I'll show this any formula. I'll just close the bracket, hit the enter. Okay, and let's change the format. And similarly, here we will put the formula. You can copy this formula also, just paste here. So, this formula is the same, only thing we will take here WIP. And we will change the number here also. And let's copy this and paste here. And in place of WIP, we will take completed. Okay, so it's done. Now, close and come to the PowerPoint. So it is looking like this. It is not correct. Now I'll tell you what we can do here. So let's go to the edit data. So in the edit data, you can see the range of the chart. Okay. 
it is taking the duration as well as the status so what we can do we can change the range till column e only all right we will not take the duration and the status let's close this so here you can see now it is working let's add the legend here so you can see the red is this amber is this and green is this okay so in place of these you can put some shapes also with the color so let's take the shapes so come to the shapes and we will take let's say this shape and just drag this shape here now we will take the color so let's take this color we can use this color for red or you can take this color or this color also okay let's take this color copy and this is for the red you can double click here or you can just select this one also and just paste now for amber just go to the save fill and here you can take this shape outline just take no outline copy and amber is gray so copy and select the gray and paste okay now let's take this green color and copy and you can paste this for green okay now for red also let's take this dark red and paste this here all right now you can delete this shape now you can remove the legend also select and press delete now select any shape right click go to the format data series and you can change the care width take around 40 or 50 now you can add the data label right click add data label and make them bold similarly here also add data label make them bold select the data label and make them bold for the red one also you can change the font color as white and bold now if i will run then it will look like this here you can see so it's working all right friends so friends that is how you can create the can chart in microsoft powerpoint and these are data driven chart you can change it whenever you want i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching